hello guys so today we will learn how to draw the pore size distribution graph in order to draw this graph using uh, origin pro we need uh, the pore size and uh, the porous materials always have uh, different size of pores so that's why we can draw a pore distribution graph based on the number of pores and sizes of pores so the distribution looks like in the graph on the right hand sides and the left hand side are some porous materials or porous films and uh, which contain a lot of nano and micro pores so today i will uh, teach you how to perform that using uh, image j and origin pro so first we will uh, use the image j to analyze the pores and later we will draw the pore distribution using the origin let's jump into the image j so image a i have already downloaded and open so i will open the image i want to analyze porous image so here is the my scm image and make sure it have a scale bar if there is no scale bar it's hard to predict the exact pore size so first you have to select the line and then click here and also click the shift to keep the line straight onto the scale bar yeah so once you have drawn the line then you have to click on analyze and set scale so known distance is 10 and the unit is micrometer okay so our scale is already set so if you want to double check you can again draw a line here let's see how it is almost half and then measure so you can say its length is about 5.1 so it mean we have correctly we have correctly uh, set the scale bar so now we will uh, choose the area we have to choose the area which is more smooth in the scm image to get the more precise results so first you have to select on the rectangle and choose an area let's i am choosing this one so after rectangle you have to click on image and you can crop or you can duplicate just click okay so this area is duplicated here so we will perform all the action on this area so after duplication uh, and selection of area you have to go to the image adjust you can check change the color balance if your image is not good so i will just keep the tutorial simple and click on image adjust and threshold now you can see the red lines are on the edges and the black represent the holes so i will try to adjust this first i will move it completely like completely to the left so it's totally right now i will slowly move this line towards the left you can see the red color is filling the pores so if i select up to here you can see a lot of black area which is hole or pore is not filled so you have to make sure that this area is filled with the red color or any small holes must be filled with the red color so i will slowly move towards the right side yeah almost every part is filled so definitely we cannot make it 100% correct but you can make some changes to make it more precise then click on apply and then close this So after you have done this you have to go to analyze and set measurements. So we want to calculate the area and uh, diameter. So just check these two boxes and click okay. Again click on analyze and click on analyze particles. So you have to make sure you choose an between uh, like 0 to infinity and this you can choose circularity. and you have to choose overlay masks and then click okay 
so here they are the results so if you look at the image let's analyze the image so the white part here here there are a lot of white part which is not calculated because the SEM image was not perfect so only area which is the color it's uh, selected for the pore size estimation or pore size calculations so these white and black areas not counted remember so that's why I always choose the area which is best or smooth anyway I will use this for the tutorial purpose so here is the summary number of counts total area under the counts average size this is estimation not pre very precise this is percentage area so there is a detail summary here here you can see the area okay so what we will do we will copy this area based on the area we will be able to calculate the pore size so because if you look at the area e is equal to pi r square r is radius which is equal to diameter over uh, 2 so so we have only area so let's copy the area for all the make sure you copy all the area all the particles I don't know why I cannot copy so I guess just click yeah, I guess click here up to shift yeah you can click here and then go at the bottom and click shift and then select then copy this is the area so now we will open the origin I have already opened an origin so let's open a new book sheet and click here this is the data so remember this is the area second column so once again I will show you this second column is area so we have to use this uh, data so we have already here uh, the area so I can write here area. area okay so as I told you we have the area equal to pi r square so we have to adjust uh, calculate the diameter or of the pores and we have to inverse uh, like uh, make some uh, adjustments in this uh, data so first add a graph sorry add a column I will add. so first we have to calculate the simply area then we can uh, we can calculate the calculate r square okay r equal to r square we can calculate is equal to r is equal to diameter sorry uh, yeah r is equal to r square is equal to this a area divided by pi r3.14 so here we will write our function we will say r square here we will r here we will say diameter okay r square we will insert the function function is uh, this column Just click using the same and then click on the column B divided by 3.14 which is equal to pi okay 
so now we have to change r square into the r so we can simply use the square root function find the square root mathematics square root square root square root of which column this column okay sorry square root of x x we will choose the column h apply okay and the d we have to calculate equal to 2 square root we have already taken area over pi we have already done this is r square or we can say area divided by pi 3.14 and we have also taken its square root so all we need is to multiply by 2 so we can do this function as 2 multiplied by the r r is this so this is column i column i okay so here is our uh, diameter or pore size and remember this is in micrometer so we can draw the histogram plot pore size distribution histogram yeah so this is the diameter or pore size we can write pore size and remember it's in micrometer because we use set the unit micrometer and this is the counts so you can adjust this graph according to your requirement so today we learned how to uh, measure the pore size of uh, an SCM image and draw a pore size distribution graph after uh, inserting the data into the origin so we will get uh, the area from the image J and then we will uh, use this equation to calculate the diameter or pore size thank you very much